Hi, my name is Rob from uh, Green E Machines here in London, Ontario. This is one of the biggest repair shops in the city, in fact the biggest, where we do uh, repairs and sales. And I'm a technician at this shop. I just bought this controller uh, about a month ago. I just received it the other day. Kind of excited about uh, installing it. So that's what I did all day today was install this controller. However, uh, bike made it maybe a thousand feet before the controller blew up. And the problem in the controller is that uh, this yellow wire here, the phase wire, has uh, inconsistent readings. If you look at the meter there, you'll see what I mean as soon as I find the ground wire. Here we are. As you can see, the wire is uh, jumping all over the place. There's got to be something loose inside that controller or a bad connection or something like that. Uh, on the green wire, is consistent. On the blue wire, it's also consistent. Therefore, my deduction is that uh, there's something wrong with this yellow wire. Furthermore, I had to change the plug on here. As you can see, it's been soldered and uh, heat shrink. So there's no shorts. And there's one other wire here that I had to change to this one uh, to connect to the ignition switch. And this one to connect for the brakes to turn the controller off when you're when you're hand is on the brake. Other than that, that's the only modifications I made to it. Uh, bike ran fine for about a thousand feet and then it uh, made a noise like trying to put a truck in gear without pushing the clutch in. Uh, I'd appreciate if you'd send me another controller and if <laughs> if there's a problem with that one then maybe I'd just get my money back and buy one somewhere else. Thank you for your time. This concludes my video.